Hey everyone. So in today's video, I want to share a quick uh, adaptive card sample that can add a actions toolbar to your generative answers. Um, this will allow your end users to take different actions based on the response from your copilot. So the toolbar works on all channels um, and it's very easy to implement. Uh, let's look at a quick demo and then I can actually show you how you can configure uh, configure it for your copilot. So here I have a copilot that can use its own uh, knowledge. Uh, there is no other knowledge sources configured. And I can start by asking uh, questions like, uh, hello, can you help me? Can you help me plan? a day trip to Paris. And then uh, it's going to use its own knowledge to create a um, itinerary for my trip to Paris. So you can see here, it's given me uh, itinerary for for my trip. And then at the bottom, I have this um, toolbar that's part of the response. So we have six different actions that are um, available to me and each action performs uh, take, uh, performs or triggers different topic within your co-pilot. So in this case, let's say I'm good with this itinerary and I want to email it to myself so I can click on this icon and then I'll provide my email. That way I can um, get it uh, in my inbox. So now, um, again, you can see every response has this uh, toolbar action that allows me to perform different things. So next I can you know, ask for uh, suggestions um, for my trip. So I can click on this icon and now you can see it's giving me additional suggestions. So let me look at different restaurants and cafes in Paris. So you can see I have got these um, suggestions for uh, cafes and restaurants, and it's only given me three. So next I can you know, provide uh, feedback. Uh, so I can click on this icon, and then I can say, uh, next time include at least five uh, different options. So you can see here, like I can use this toolbar to quickly uh, perform different actions. And like I said, this can be completely customized. So for example, if you want to tr allow transferring to a live agent, I can click on this and this will uh, allow you to transfer uh, to a live agent. Same way if I, want to, if I want to restart the conversation, I can click on home and it's going to allow me to restart. So this really depends the actions uh, here that you see on the toolbar itself can be configured based on your use case. Um, so, and you can add additional um, actions as well. So in my case, I just added six, but this can be uh, a list that's required for your use case. So now um, I'll quickly show you how you can create this adaptive card. It really needs two topics. So the first topic that you need to change is your conversational boosting topic. So over here, what I have done is instead of sending the response directly, um, I stored the entire response. So if you go to advanced, um, you can see here, I'm saving the LLM response in a global variable. So, and then I make sure that it's not sending the message. Next uh, on this, um, what you can do is after uh, you check that the answer is not blank, I have added a message node and then I'm using um, an adaptive card that allows you to create this uh, toolbar. So that's the first topic you need to change. So this is the only thing you need to do with this conversational boosting topic. And then once you have the conversational boosting topic configured correctly, the next thing you want to do is um, you need to create a topic that can handle uh, different actions on the toolbar. So I have a topic called action toolbar handler 
And this is just a bunch of different conditions um, based on uh, different actions that you have on your toolbar. So in this case, I have uh, configured everything in a single topic, but you can also redirect to different topics based on the action uh, that user has clicked. So over here, what it's doing is um, it's listening to, uh, so if the trigger is every time a message is received uh, from the uh, user, what I do is I check to see if the message event is equal to action set. This means the user has clicked on uh, one of the action on the toolbar. So this way, even though this topic is triggered for every message, I have included another condition, uh, which is also required or it needs to be true in order to uh, trigger this topic. So with that, what I can do now is once those two conditions are met, um, it can leverage this topic and based on the action clicked, it will perform different uh, different actions. So in this case, you can see if you're providing a feedback, I collect the feedback here and then I show the message using the same adaptive card. So it's the same adaptive card that is shown on every single message uh, when the bot responds back. So these are the two topics that you need to uh, configure in order to get this to work. And like I said, this works on every channel. Um, so you don't need to do anything extra. So if you just want to see it working on uh, teams here, so you can see uh, I'm able to perform all these same actions uh, on team as well. I can say a recipe for Strength and grids. And you can see it will uh, show me a response and show me the toolbar um, here, just like I showed you on the test panel. Uh, so what I'll do next is I'll put the adaptive card sample uh, in the description so that you can use it um, for your co-pilot. Let me know if there are any, any questions and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.